Hello, we are CCF, or at least a small portion of the community. Um, and we're talking about some relationships we've made in CCF. So, Zach, you had a story for us? Yeah. So something awesome I did with my small group guys. A couple of us decided we were going to do the Mount Baker Summit trip with the Outdoor Center. So we did a bunch of training. We hiked Oyster Dome with big 35 pound packs on a bunch of times. Yeah, the three of us went up with our crew and we stayed the night in a tent in, on the mountain and it was windy and cold and really fun to like tell ghost stories on the mountain. And then we hiked up with the sunrise. We kind of start around like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. sometimes. And then, yeah, we summited Mount Baker and that was the coldest my hands have ever been. And we have a picture together where we all look miserable and sweaty, but we had a ton of fun and I'm still good friends with those guys. Yeah. And Lindsay, you had a story about someone that you mentored. What was that like? Yeah. Um, so last year I had the opportunity to mentor a girl named Emma and she had also been a small group leader in the past. So I was a little bit nervous. That was a slightly different relationship than some of the other girls I was meeting with. Um, but we just got to this place where we were so vulnerable with each other and felt so comfortable with each other that we could share absolutely everything. So we would meet at every point in the day, we would meet really early in the morning with coffee or we would have late night car talks. But it, we just got to the place where we were open with each other and we were able to share things that were happening in our lives that were a little bit scary or hard or just uncomfortable situations. But we were able to meet together in that and um, read scripture together and pray for one another and just just be in a place where we could always go to each other if we needed help. Um, and having that kind of relationship was something that I hadn't really experienced before college. And so having a friendship like that was just everything. And we still talk all the time. She lives in California now um, in San Francisco, but we FaceTime once a week and, and still get to have that kind of relationship with each other. So um, being able to mentor her was just the, one of the best aspects of last year. That's so cool. Oh, so endearing. Um, and Joe, you made friends with a girl who you were also mentoring, and it was also kind of like a really close friendship. But what was that like? Yes. Um, so I came in as a transfer student, and so it was my first year at Western. Um, and I met a gal named Erin um, in the international floor where I was um, helping to lead. And we met and it just was such a gift, like that friendship that just flourished there because it was her like first time in the US and just in um, at Western um, as a student. So it was like, we were both kind of different places, but kind of we found that similarity. Um, and yeah, just like friendship. And we would just always get so excited when we were running into each other on campus. And I was with her when she found, uh, first tried her first pumpkin spice latte. And so, yeah, I'm really thankful for her friendship. That's so nice. And uh, Sierra, you have a cool story yourself. My freshman year coming into college and I had like met this like roommate and my mom was like, she's a sophomore. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And she tells me she's in this like Christian club. She describes this as like 10 people and there's like, you know, like 200. <laughs> so I come into CCF and I, she like just like invited me into that and she became like my best friend and just showed me how to be able to grow within like a community. And she just like made me be able to like blossom in CCF. Yeah, and you guys still talk a lot, right? Yeah, we're best friends. <laughs> and Cameron, can you share your experience? Yeah. Yeah, I grew up kind of going to church and then was involved with Christian activities and youth groups for a while um, and was able to be mentored by a lot of amazing people. Um, but it wasn't until I came to Western that I got to meet James Jr., um, who was uh, also another person of color and be discipled for the first time, mentored by another person of color. Um, and I didn't realize all the different areas of my life that hadn't been spoken into in certain ways um, because of the way that he got to understand my background um, and some of my different interests. Um, and really come, came alongside me to um, help me kind of prioritize things differently 
to really uh, start to be intentional with my relationships and the way that I love people um, and to really spend my time um, in ways that I would kind of advance what God wanted for my life and for others. Um, so I was so blessed by that and still am close with him and I uh, get to hang out with him a lot. So really grateful for that experience in CCF with that kind of mentorship. So cool. And what about you, Hannah? You were talking about um, you mentored someone, right? And that was a cool experience. Yeah, so my sophomore year of college, I um, was a core leader and I met with a girl named Grace and we, like I would come every time into our one-on-ones with a plan, like super detailed, like we're going to study the Bible, it's going to be great. And that got thrown out the window like within five minutes because we'd be <laughs> in some super deep conversation about different religions, different like political topics and just like, it was just such a uh, great space to um, talk about things and like discuss and share ideas. Um, and even though I was mentoring her, it felt very much like we both were just like um, pouring into each other. Um, and then after that year of meeting with her and discipling her, I actually got to be in her resource group, which meant that she was a core leader in a different core, but we still met together. Um, so I got to uh, hear about like her experience leading and meeting with girls and she just brought like I could tell just from hearing her stories that she brought the same like um, inquisitive nature and just like diving into hard conversations with her girls that she met with and got to mentor um, so it's just super cool to get to invest in her and then also just see how she invested in other girls Oh, that's so exciting. I love it. Thank you all for sharing. 